congratulations, you have digital art. You know, good, good on you. Like, do you have a degree? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Do you know what is a red flag? Yes. Yes. Like the Singapore flag, but like... It's a sign that, you know, someone's probably like a bit toxic or not like the best fit for you. Like. Bad things, I guess, or like deal breakers for people. Most described as uh, usually for relationships, I guess. What are some things you have heard people say about red flags in men? Men, uh, okay, maybe red flag uh, men who like to mansplain. Right, like every sing- Oh my god, I'm about to do it. I was about to do it! Oh! I was about to mansplain. Like your Instagram page is full like women and like models. I'm not guilty of that. Well, I don't know eh. I think a lot of people have very unique red flags. Like for example, like Brenda, right? Her red flag would be like if you never shower uh, before you go into onto bed, that kind. Yeah, that kind of random ass things. I feel like it's very subjective for different people. Different people have different tolerance uh, when it comes to this kind of habits. Are you familiar with what Singaporean girls see as red flags in men? <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I, actually, I, I really don't know. That's why I've been single for so long. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe I'm a walking red flag. I'm wearing red, right? So I don't know, like, actually. Ah, oh, Singaporean girls, ah. Uh. Maybe no ambition. Guys who have no ambitions, you think that's a red flag? Oh, what if, like, if the guy don't earn as much as her? Is that a red flag? Maybe? So today we have compiled a list from the internet and from your female colleagues in the office. We are going to have you react to some of the things Singaporean girls see as red flags. You can either agree with them or disagree and defend yourselves against the statements shared. Okay, so basically I'm defending the guys, huh? right? Okay, good. I got you guys. I oh, defend myself. Okay, okay. <laughs> what do you mean defend myself? How dare you? Hopefully none of them like relate to me. <laughs> He's a crypto and NFT bro. <laughs> Only and always talking about crypto NFTs even if the girl is in, interested in it. Haiki flexing that they're investing in cryptos and NFTs. If all of his assets like don't have any value, then I guess it's a red flag. But if he's actually like making smart decisions, then I think like there's a there's a chance that it could be a good thing, you know. But they're kind of thinking of the future. Like as long as he's not like very shoving it down your throat kind of thing, I think it's okay. I mean if they're doing good, you should be happy for them. But if they're only and always interested about only talking about crypto and NFTs, then maybe maybe you should switch the topic, I guess. Yeah. I think you should find as a bro, I'd say you might want to find what interests the girl as well, you know. Like everyone's suddenly having a conversation and this guy, hey you heard about the crypto or the NFT, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I also get very annoyed. So I hundred percent agree that this is a red flag and a turn off. Number two, mean to strangers. That one, right, really, right? If you are rude, right? I no, no. I was I'll date the service staff. Okay, right off the bat, there's definitely a red flag. Okay, so, I mean, you can be f nice to your friends, but how you treat others, like strangers especially, or like waitresses, workers at the bars, and uh, if you're mean to them, that really shows your true character, I guess, yeah. Oh, there's a quote. If you want to know a man for the person he is, look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. From Harry Potter. He always tries to be politically correct. What does that mean? Does it mean like he, he tries to always favour the girl, doesn't really give his opinion? Is that what it means? Oh, okay. Okay, I wouldn't say this is a red flag, but it's fucking annoying lah. This feels like it makes the guy a bit boring. He's always calculating his moves. I think it's fine, but also do share your own views and opinions. Poor guy maybe was like, you know, vulnerable and like wasn't hurt as a child. I, I mean, I won't call this a red flag. They don't really seem to have like a, an actual opinion or a, or a very strong backbone. Because you can still be respectful and disagree, right? When you send five text messages and he only replies to one, uh, no, it's not completely not a red flag. Like, I do this all the time. I know some people expect you to reply quickly, reply a long message, but five text messages, what are these, what is the content of these five text messages? If it's like, oh my god, proop, hi, proop, uh, miss you, proop, then obviously I won't reply, then I say, I miss you too, one sentence enough, why? Wow. Encapsulate one reply to the five random texts you're sending. Uh, but if it's a, like five long texts, like you're, you're pouring out your emotions, and then they suddenly reply, K, then I will, wow, that one I will tilt, yeah, I will. I will flip something. So let's say it's working, you know, it's like busting his ass to make a living, like during the day. And he replies, he sees five messages, and he just replies to one. Then I'd say, you will see the situation as well. Like, um, I'd say it's not a red flag, but it's good to communicate, I guess. Like, 
at the end of the day after your work's finished, like, oh, why you only reply to why you only reply so little? Oh. He says he can't post his girlfriend on his Instagram because it will ruin his feed. Ew! You're basically dating an influencer. Fuck you, that's a red flag. You think you fucking handsome, is it? <laughs> ruin your feed, huh? Nah man, your girlfriend is your feed. I'm pretty sure you post your girlfriend got more likes than you don't post. If you can post your friends, why not post your girlfriend? It depends on how important social media is to you in your relationship. If it is, then there has to be a compromise. Like if she wants you to post, you know, at least offer her an Instagram story. La. Hey babe, I offer you Instagram story. La. I mind. We can still edit, we can still post nice nice, make a lot of graphic and GIF come out. Your girlfriend or your boyfriend will never ruin your whatever. Otherwise, what are you doing with her, right? And come on, one girlfriend picture, I'm sure your follower will appreciate you showing your human side. This is terrible, huh? I also cannot take it if a guy or girl is like that. Controls your dressing! This is, I'm quite like conservative, huh? so okay, let me show you my, my point of view. I would rather my girlfriend or my wife like not dress in a way that gets like too much attention. So yes, it's a red flag. <laughs> when I explain it, I think there's, there's no like, there's no way to like make it sound good. Huh? I think it's just like one of my, one of my uh, flaws. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of a red flag. That's her business, how she wants to present herself. If you control her dressing means you're sort of like, you're telling her what to do, basically, right? No, uh, I'm gonna wear Uniqlo whenever I want, and I think you should be allowed to wear whatever you want also, girl. Dangerous. Very, 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 very much. A very dark red flag. The red is as red as blood, okay? This is very bad. Cannot accept a man who controls your dressing, because it will eventually spill over to more things in life. A guy should never think or feel like he can control any aspect of your life. He keeps posting half-naked thirst trap pics on Instagram with a caption like, squirt squirt oops do you fall for me. Bro, if you water water, I'll fall down because the water, the floor slippery, understand? Uh? This one sounds like something Don, Don would do. I feel like this is targeted at me, I don't know why. Uh, Because I do the same. Uh, okay, maybe not the caption. So I say, is it a red flag? Mm, I think about it, told myself, no. I don't think it's a red flag. It's just like, if you got body, just, you know, why not? You're confident with yourself, right? Yes, reflect. Isn't in this, it's one thing to like, you know, not wanting to post like your girlfriend on his, on his Instagram page. Like this is like a next level. This is like obviously like, just trying to get, still get like other girls' attention or like other people's attention. But I feel like the caption is a bit low-key flirtatious. To me, the, the, at the end of the day, right, the red flag is not so much the action, but the red flag is the seeking for attention. Like you're obviously out there for attention and uh, the simps, then yeah, he's definitely not someone probably that's interested in something serious. I mean, just let him live his life, I guess. Stay away from the red flag. He plays the devil's advocate for everything, especially when he's in the wrong. Semi-red flag? Being the devil's advocate can really uh, hint at someone's emotional intelligence and how capable they are at manipulating. I generally think like playing the devil's advocate is necessary. Like you, for any situation, I think you always need to consider um, two sides to an argument. We kind of need this type of opposing views in life to sort of balance things out so that you don't fall trapped into a one, one track mind. But if he does it even when he's in a wrong, right, and he comes across as defensive about it, then I think that's, that's a problem. Lah. A gentleman or a, a good guy, right, is someone who can admit when they make a mistake. When he talks about babies on the first or second date, how old is this guy? I think that's something you talk about like later on once you get to know the person. Like you barely know the person and like babies. You like babies? I mean, if you're like 35, I think talking about babies like on the first or second date, I think that is quite okay. Like usually, if you're dating at the age, maybe you're thinking about families really much. Like that's the the next step you're looking for, right? On the other hand, if you're 14, you know, hello police. Okay. To be fair. This is very important to me because usually when I go on first dates, right, my f one of my first few questions is I'll ask about children, whether they want children or not. Because I, I know I don't want children. And if my partner says he wants children, then to me, that's a bit of a mismatch. Lah. I don't think it's inappropriate. I think I get where the guy is coming from. He always asks you to go down on him, but he never goes down on you. Hmm, double standard. So, reflect. Run. So I say, run, girl, run, far, far, far away. Red flag. No. Red flag. That's a red flag. Talking about sexual preferences, I think it should be quite reciprocal, I guess, yeah. Sex is a mutual thing, okay? If you expect someone to do something for you, you must also do something back. 
okay, must be must be some sort of equity in that sense. It shows like a bit of a overly masculine thought, like you no, know, a guy is bigger, more superior than a lady. A guy deserves his pleasures being met, but not the lady. This stuff, I mean, sexual intercourse is a two-way street, lah. Maybe more if you're into that kind of thing, three-way, four-way, whatever, right? Maybe he's insecure. Maybe he sucks at it. Oh, no pun intended. <laughs> So, what are your overall thoughts on reacting to all the red flags? Um, going to the video, I didn't really think that I'll really think that much. It's like either a clear-cut red flag or not. But the questions got me thinking. So, I think some of them, like most of them, are actually quite valid. But it also does uh, depend on communication. But I think some of them would have to require communication or compromise. Like it's something that you can talk about. It's not something you just drop someone for. I think very interesting. Uh, it's very nice to hear the opinions from ladies, especially their fellow colleagues. You know, they are like right around you, but you don't know what they're thinking. And it's a very good check for myself also, if I ever exhibit any of these traits that people find unattractive. And I agree with quite a lot of them. Lah. But as with anything, there's context involved. So it's very important to see the context between each couple and how these traits are being shown. Lah. Funnily enough, I feel like it's not Okay, lah, maybe because I also think also some of these things are red flags for me in the sense that like if I'm dating someone, right, these are quite red flags. Red flaggy for me, I feel. Uh, especially from my context, lah, I also do get a little bit bothered by a lot of these things. Um, so it's, it is to me relatable and to me it's very... <clears throat> I can understand why, why, why it's coming, why these things come out. Lah. But a lot of them, I feel like if you are serious about the person and these red flags come out, uh, don't immediately like cut the person. Except like certain things which I said run away. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have other red flags in men that we didn't mention, please leave them in the comments below. Also, let us know if you would like a girl's version as well. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye!